Oh, power outage blog day six, seven, something like that. I don't even know anymore. It's uh, Monday or Tuesday, one of those. And I've finally thought of enough of the cold to be able to return home and actually uh, keep stuff in order. So I've been really burning wood basically ever since I got home from work or the first day in quite a while. Uh, and I've been spending the day uh, rebuilding the uh, circulation system because now I really need to get some heat going upstairs in order to sleep because uh, this room just isn't very well suited for sleeping on the unisolated floor it's actually going to get really cold even though it's very warm in here right now I've been burning so much wood I think we're way over 20 C 20 I uh, don't fall down 23 23 and a half C so I've really been going at it uh, but uh, we do have a much fancier circulation system now because the tank I was using before uh, well it is uh, uh, big and uh, copper nice uh, it's only coupled to the I can't really make it out from that port but uh, it's only coupled to the rest of the stuff through the bottom and there's air gaps on the sides so it just has very very low thermal capacity it's, it, it dropped to 20C right away and uh, barely did anything. This, however, is a whole other story because uh, the main cooking platter underneath that uh, pot, if we have a quick look inside, a look up at the platter, you can see it's got heat sinks. So the thermal impedance from a fire to that cooking uh, but it's uh, quite low. Uh, the thermal resistance from the platter to the pot is a whole other story. But uh, we are able to run the pump and keep the uh, water at a tasty 36C right now. And that's uh, circulating up to the uh, uh, radiator upstairs. And uh, if, if I stick the probe into the outlet, uh, we have about 30C coming back, so we're dropping 6C across the system and uh, we don't have a lot of flow it's just coughing up air since the radiator is leaking and uh, this pump is just so incredibly undersized I'm running it at just about 10 watts still but I have to keep dropping the voltage because it keeps drawing more current uh, the uh, longer it runs it's really not rated to run for as long as it has it's I'm just waiting for it to die at this stage. Uh, so, I'm obviously not going to be able to use my normal bedroom up, uh, up at the top part of the house because I just uh, don't have enough hose nor pump power to get the radiator all the way up there. But uh, I have reinstalled a door here which we are running hoses through, so it's not really optimal. Uh, we can squeeze through. Perfect expensive drill door stuff back in its place. And this is going to be my cozy little lair for the night. So uh, here is the radiator. Uh, so this is, yeah, it, it's, uh, there's very little drop across the lines actually. There's less than a C. Uh, so this is uh, going at uh, 36, 37 C, stuff like that. It's warm to the touch. So I'm guessing my thermal couple downstairs is uh, a bit off duty. This is, uh, it's warm. Even on the, yeah, this intake side is definitely warm there. And on the outlet of that, it's uh, still uh, pretty much warm. Slight, yeah, warm to the touch, definitely. Over body temperature, it feels like. I, I'm, I'm horrible at judging that. Uh, and uh, this is where I'm going to spend the night. Uh, got for America pills because they are very, very cheap. Now, so right now we are at uh, 9.8 C. Uh, that's up from about, uh, I think it was 4 C roughly when I started today. So we've made a difference. Uh, I've also been running in the electric heat of the 
650 watt electric heater of the petrol generator so uh, we have cheated a bit. Uh, the reason I've got the door removed to this uh, horrible cupboard full of garbage is that that's the chimney. Uh, the wall back there is uh, quite warm, it's about 14C uh, so that's radiating. I, I, can, I can feel it compared to that door. Just doing that I can feel some heat radiating out from there and that's good. I considered uh, putting something to separate these rooms but uh, the boiler room is right underneath us here. Oh, I don't know where that previous recording stopped due to uh, lack of card space since I can't empty my card with a server offline. But uh, let's restart at the floor. So the stove is right underneath us here and uh, we've actually gotten to the stage now uh, where where we've got 8C at the floor and there's a rather reflective floor so it's not going to be measuring super accurate but we are heating the floor up here. Like 8C is uh, considerably warmer than it used to be. If we measure the wall, that's going to be like 6 over the corner. Yeah, 5 point something. What's the radiator? The radiators are slightly heating up since we do get some self circulation uh, in the water line since they run in the ceiling in the basement. This one's probably pretty bad, though. No? That one's reasonably warm as well. So everything is heating up quite nicely. Here you can see yeah. unheated floor 6C, heated floor over there 8C plus and that's just from a few hours of heating it takes a long long time for the concrete to actually absorb the heat. It's a very thick floor, very sturdily built house. Uh, so if I just keep burning wood for a very long time uh, chances are it's going to heat up reasonably well. Still 9.8 there. Yeah, since we've got the IR gun. Yeah, 34C on the fins there. 35 on the outlet side. And pretty much 35 everywhere. And on the intake, about 35. I do wonder where all the temp is going. 32 over there, yeah. I just got some fresh wood going, so we're probably heating this thing up a bit more as well. But I think my case, a little uh, bed here, is going to do nicely. It's going to keep heating up overnight. I'm going to keep burning more wood and burning more wood and uh, figuring out a way to get the internet online without uh, ruining all my last remaining battery. I have a tiny UPS up there. Well, that's not going to last long. Uh, I've actually stepped away from the big 48 volt bank. Oh, damn, it's cold in here. It's so cold in here. Ha, huh, 2C at the wall. Yeah. TC, what's the door? The door's horrible. Yeah, TC. It's a bit zero outside. That door, it's garbage. But yeah, uh, I've swapped out for a small 12 volt system, which is sitting right here. This is the inverter that uh, I've used for another van camper project. This thing lasted me throughout Europe, so I'm sure it's going to be just fine here as well. And I'm thinking about picking that thing up just to run the internet overnight uh, because this thing has a much lower idle power draw. It's a, a fake sine wave inverter. It uh, just draws uh, about 600 milliamps idle, whereas that guy draws uh, 1.8 amps. Or well, we do have reasonably large batteries which I can quick charge of the. Uh, Generator, I, I don't want to do waste any power, obviously. But yeah, that's about it for the time being. I haven't had time to work on the solar line since I've just been busy burning wood and burning wood and burning wood and burning wood. Good night.